And uh, you found the quick review, and this is uh, simplifying radicals. All right, so simplifying radicals. Remember, it's all about the index. This is a square root, meaning the index is 2. So we need 2 of any factor to take the square root. All right, so let's go ahead and factor our number here. We got a 72, right? All right, so let's factor 72. And uh, there's a lot of ways to skin the cat, but I'm just going to go 2 times 36. Okay, now at that, look at this 36, right? And, and normally you just take the square root of 36 and it's 6, but why? Because it's a 6 squared, right? And whenever the index matches the exponent, then the result is that factor. So what's the square root of 36 or the square root of 6 squared? That's a 6. We got a 6 out. What's the square root of x squared? That's an x. You get an x out. Now, the y uh, cubed, look at it as a y squared times a y, right? What's the square root of y squared? It's a y, and we've got a y out. Everything else stays in. All right, so I still have a 2 in, and I still have a y in. So 6xy times the square root of 2y. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with a uh, cube root, fourth root here in this case. It uh, doesn't matter, fifth root, eighth root. The index is the key. And you're looking for 4 of any factor. Okay, well, right off the bat, our 2 to the 4th is good to go. We have, what's the 4th root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? It's a 2. So I'm going to do it underneath here. We get a 2 out. All right, the 8 to the 6th. Again, with this 8 to the 6th, I'm going to think of it as an 8 to the 4th times an a squared. What's the 4th root of a to the 4th? I get an a out. My b, let's think of that as a b to the fourth times another b to the fourth, right? So I get a b out for that b to the fourth and a b out for that b to the fourth for a b squared, right? And the c to the fifth, let's think of that as a c to the fourth times a c. Now again, why did I go for all these fours here with the exponents? And the answer is because the index is a four. So again, I can get a C out for that C to the fourth. And so now I'm at the place where I've got, let's see if I can get rid of that box. So I've got 2A, um, B squared, C, and whatever else is left is left in the radical, right? Don't forget your index. It's a 4. All right, I have an A squared left in, and I have a C. So what is the answer? 2A, B squared, C times the fourth root of a squared c. Simplifying radicals. It's all about getting as many factors as equal the index. So get the exponent to equal the index. You're able to take the root. It's whatever that base is. And you just continue on. All right? Simplifying radicals.